Hi, today I'm going to show you how we are writing in counts underneath notes and rests from whole notes and rests down to halves, quarters, and eighths. Um, we've been doing assignments where we have to write in counts and there's been some confusion, so I want to try to clear that up for you. So I'm just going to start with our whole note. We are assuming we're in 4-4 time, but no matter what the time signature is, when you are writing in counts at the beginning of a measure, you always start with one, no matter what you have. So I've got a whole note. When I write in the count for that whole note, I'm always going to start with a one. To show sustained sound, we are going to add a dash for each beat that follows that one. So if the whole note gets four beats, I write down the one, I put a dash for two, a dash for three, and a dash for four. So we have one dash, dash, dash. If I were to continue on just working with notes, um, we use dashes for sustained sound, anything longer than one beat. So if I have two half notes and we're in 4-4 four, four time, then I'm going to put a 1 under the first half note, then I need to add a second beat. I show that sustained sound with a dash. That's beat 2. For the next half note, that starts on beat 3. To sustain the sound for one more beat, beat four, I add a dash. So I have one, two, three, four, but the two is a dash because it's sustained through beat two, and the four is a dash because it's sustained through beat four. This is only for notes longer than a beat. So in the event I had like a dotted half note or even a dotted quarter note, I would put the first beat that that note falls on and then sustain the sound with dashes. When we have quarter notes, those are one beat each in 4-4 four, four time, so we're just going to put the beat number that it falls on. So the first one is going to get a one, next one gets a two, the next one gets a three, and the next one gets a four. So that's for quarter notes, that's pretty straightforward. Eighth notes can be presented in a couple of different ways. Um, they can be singles that have the, the flag attached to the stem, or they can be in pairs. Sometimes they're in groups of four, but that really doesn't make any difference. It's still an eighth note. So with eighth notes, we have our downbeat, which is the number. So our first one would be a one. The other half of that beat is the upbeat. That gets a plus sign. That's the and. So the second one would get a plus. So we've got one and, then we put our next beat. We've got two and, so those are paired together. Then we have three and, then we have four and. We generally only use the plus sign for an eighth note that falls on an upbeat. So it's the and of whatever beat number. So the number is the downbeat, the plus is the upbeat. So that's all notes. We also have a way of writing in counts for rests. So if we have a whole rest, rest is silence. It's not sustained sound. So with any rest, we always start with parentheses. Then we're going to write the beat numbers that it occupies. So if we're in 4-4 four, four time and I have a whole rest, I put my parentheses, one, two, three, four, and then I close off with the other parentheses. So hopefully you can see that okay. If we had two half rests, that's gonna work in the same way. Each rest gets its own set of parentheses. So we are going to start with a parenthesis. This takes up beats one and two, but I don't put a plus. I just put one, two, parenthesis. So that's for a single, single rest there. 
And then for the next one, it takes up beats three and four. So I put my parenthesis, three, four, parenthesis. And that's how you deal with half rests. If you had a half rest that took up beats two and three, you would put parenthesis, two, three, parenthesis. All right, next, to deal with quarter rests. Each rest is going to get its own set of parentheses and you just put the beat number inside of it. So I put a one inside parentheses for the first one. I put a two inside parentheses for the second one. Three inside parentheses and then four inside parentheses. So when you're dealing with quarters, whether they're notes or rests, it's just the beat number, okay? Then these little sevens, those are eighth rests. They're the silent equivalent of the eighth note. And you would write the counts the same way. It's just each symbol gets its own set of parentheses. So if it falls on beat one, I would put a one in parentheses. If it falls on the end of one, I put a plus sign in parentheses. If it falls on two, you put that beat in parentheses and again the and of two. So each rest gets its own set of parentheses and you're only putting the beat number or numbers inside the parentheses. You're never using a dash because the dash is for sustained sound. So you can mix and match these. You can have a combination of notes and rests. You just have to know if it's a rest, you put parentheses around the beats that are involved. Um, so this is just a quick breakdown of how to write out counts for notes from whole note down to eighth note and for rests from whole down to eighth as well. Again, you can mix and match, um, but I hope this helps and clears up any confusion that there may have been. So good luck with your rhythm counting, and we'll see you next time.